Hello everyone! I want to talk about selenite today. It is one of my favorite stones. It is a um, really beautiful stone when it's in spheres form because it gives off this cat's eye glow and that's its nickname. Um, but selenite comes in so many different forms. It comes in wands, it comes in slabs, it comes in spheres. It's really awesome because it's not a very expensive stone at all. But I love it because it's a self-cleansing stone. So you never have to cleanse a stone at all. It's totally self-sufficient. It takes care of itself. It's great to have selenite if you want to cleanse other crystals. It's beautiful energy for full moon ritual work, especially if you mix it with um, some moonstone because when it's in spheres form like this, as you can see, it looks like if I'm holding the moon. <laughs> and so it really represents the moon in so many glorious, beautiful energies. But it's also connected to um, light energy, energy of light. And light is connected to our angels and our higher consciousness and ascended masters. So selenite really, really is a beautiful stone to have in your collection. And if you have a lot of other tumbled stones and things like that, it's really good to keep selenite around all of them because it'll keep them self-cleansing. And it'll cleanse all these other stones, especially if you inherit or you're gifted a stone from someone else and you want to cleanse it a really soft, gentle way, put it by a piece of selenite and it'll do its magic. Um, selenite is a really good stone for all your chakras as well because it's constantly working on your aura, constantly strengthening it, cleansing it, making your chakras well into alignment, making them feel all like in sync with each other. And you can really feel the difference. If you surround yourself with selenite, you'll feel this almost like a breath of fresh air in the, in the space that you're in or just in yourself. You feel like alive and renewed and uh, rejuvenated. And a lot of people do meditate with selenite because it offers, like I said, that light energy. So it, it really opens up the crown chakra and after it cleanses and aligns everything, the more you work with it, the better because it's just gonna keep aligning and you know um, rejuvenating your spirit. So it helps open up the uh, channels to spirit communication. And so it's really good to work with with meditation because of that. Or if you're doing any divinational work, it's a good stone to have on hand because amethyst is really good for psychic intuition and all that. But selenite is that channel. It's like the doorway, the key, and it really opens everything up. It makes it all there, easy for you to work with and use. Um, one little side note with selenite though, when you get it in raw form and it's not tumbled or polished, you want to be careful because selenite does have these little fragments that come off of it and you don't want to get them in your eyes or inhale them or anything. It's like a powder. So you always want to wash your hands after handling raw uh, selenite. Also, you never really want to make an elixir out of it because of that because it gives off those flakes so you don't want to drink that and you don't want to put it in your oils or anything like that because it's not good for it. Um, some people make crystal water like myself. I use quartz and I make crystal water to enhance my water that I drink but you don't want to do it with selenite. You can do a cup of a glass cup and surround the cup with some selenite. Uh, same with any of your oils that you're making or anything like that. You don't want to put the stone in it though because it will dissolve too. Um, so, but selenite, beautiful stone. I highly recommend it for any crystal collector because, like I said, it's constantly self cleansing. It cleanses other stones. It's great if you have jewelry like I do. I have a selenite slab in my bedroom, and every night when I take off my jewelry, I leave all my jewelry on the little selenite slab so I know that it's cleansing it overnight. And then the next morning, sure enough, they always feel so brand new. Um, it's still really good to always put your crystals in the sun and in the moonlight to charge them with the natural earthly energies. But um, selenite spheres I do sell on my website, www.whitewitchparlor.com. I'll leave the link below. And um, yeah, selenite, I, I love this stone. I really, really do. Ever since I first got it into my hands, like uh, years back, I just, I said, this is a good stone. Like this does something really positive. It's positive energy. And after that, I realized I was more in communication with my angels. So I really, 
credit this, not not this fear exactly, but selenite to that. So it really helped open up my channels to my greater awakening and expansion of my spiritual journey. So if you guys like this video, please like it. And you can always subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and inspiration and spiritual guidance. So I hope you have a magical week and blessed be. I love you all. And um, check back next week for my new video. Mwah!